Jiji la Nairobi ndio kitovu cha biashara sio tu nchini Kenya bali katika eneo nzima la Jumuiya la Afrika Mashariki. Kila kuchao makampuni ya kimataifa huwa ambioni kuwekeza na kujenga makao yao hapa jijini. Na kadri ustawi unavyozidi kuongezeka ndivyo idadi ya watu huongezeka huku wakisaka nafasi za ajira na biashara. Hapa kufaulu kwa jamaa au biashara kwa pakubwa hutegemea swala moja pesa Lakini mbali na msisimko wa mabishara makubwa makubwa jijini utakutana na uhalisia wa maisha katika vitongoji duni jijini Nairobi Wenyeji wa vitongoji hivi huwa kwa pakubwa wamesukumwa nje ya mfumo mkubwa wa uchumi kutokana na hali yao duni ya maisha na hivyo inawabidi kujisatiti vilivyo unaweza kuta mtu ako na miambili mahitaji ya nyumba imeangalia hiyo miambili kesho anataka nunue stoka akuje kwa barabara aheri anunue chakula kule lakini kesho asiingie kazini moja wapo ya njia walizobuni kujiendeleza ni ubunifu wa sarafu ya kijamii some of these retailers they are low income traders and uh, they need to trade on a daily basis they depend on volumes to make something at the end of the day so how do we increase that trade volumes that's where the idea of community currency comes in at least within the first few months 20 30% increase in trade and after a year we're seeing even up to 100% in some businesses so they get more clients they're more stable as a market and they're still using kenyan shillings and this fills the gap that's missing baada ya majaribio ya miaka mitano katika jamii kumi kote nchini Kenya sarafu ya jamii sasa i tayari kuingia katika mfumo wa digitali digital currency is just like a normal currency the only difference is that it's not physical it's more or less virtual and it's mostly because they want to make it kind of cross border transactions you don't necessarily need to be you know uh, within one border so they can use them you can be in Kenya you can use it someone in China in the US the idea is that if this is an app or a service on your phone that anyone could not only have access to it but also create now their own networks so that's the the dream there is to is to really make it so easy to use and so easy to uh, to integrate into into people's daily life mfumo wa sarafu ya digitali ambayo jamii hizi zinanuia kubuni imeigwa kutoka mfumo unaojulikana kama lev market ambayo inatumika nchini Israeli katika mfumo huu watu huja pamoja na kubuni jamii yao ya kibiashara na kuunda sarafu ya uchuzi katika jamii hiyo in Israel for example we have 20000 mothers that are exchanging hearts on our digital platform every mother can say everything she needs and the whole community is helping every uh, person can say what he has to give and the result is that mothers save 25% of all their expenses uh, that they not, don't need to pay now with shekels they pay it with hearts and they also can afford things they couldn't afford before I can easily buy products and services within this community even though I'm not a member of the community. I don't really need to go somewhere and look for Lindy Pesa so that I can do it. I can do it right there. So what does that do? It just increases the market size that the guys in the Lindy community have access to. And once you widen that scope of access to products and services, you're basically improving the lives and services of the guys within the community. In terms of security, it's, it's a bonus actually to especially the women who are mostly involved in the communities because they're able to move around with value, with money, but not necessarily in physical form. And if someone's going to steal, they want to steal the physical money. The platform itself is very technologically strong. For you to hack through it, you really need to be extremely technologically smart. Kama vile sarafu ijami imesaidia, sarafu digitali itasaidia hata zaidi. Kwani? itapanua matumizi hadi kwenye mitandao kama vile credit cards na pesa za mtandaoni to print a currency is not trivial right 
Um, you need to have special paper. It needs to have security features. It's expensive to print. Um, and so, you know, and we're, we're having to print right now. We actually, uh, we get the paper from the Netherlands. It's printed in Germany. It's shipped down here. The challenge of printing these vouchers for every single community now in Kenya becomes a, a burden. And so in some ways we're looking at kind of two levels where we have the ability to um, invest and integrate between networks with a cryptocurrency. But within the community, we have a, uh, a sub cryptocurrency, right? It's, it's their cryptocurrency and that becomes much, much faster for them. And, you know, the benefit of it is that we can create these systems with cryptocurrency such that, that they're secure and totally transparent. The good thing with the digitizing them is that you're more or less putting them on a blockchain. And when you put them on a blockchain, it just means that they're going to be permanent data stored there. It's very difficult to manipulate that data. So, you know, the normal paper currencies that we use, it's very easy. We can print more and cause inflation and stuff. With digitization, that problem is totally eliminated. Mfumo huu wa sarafu digitali ukifanikishwa, itasaidia kuboresha maisha ya wakazi sio tu katika maeneo ambapo sarafu ya jamii inatumika kwa sasa bali kote nchini mbali na hayo itakuwa msingi mwafaka kwa ufumbuzi zaidi jamii ikiwa na pesa bila shaka watazitumia kununua bidhaa wanazohitaji na hivyo kuimarisha biashara na hali yao kwa jumla Iwapo ni kupitia sarafu ya jamii au sarafu digitali, jamii hizi ziima kujisatiti kuboresha maisha yao na kujiondoa katika lindi la umaskini.